stop Yeah, I know I did you wrong But I learned my lesson Now what if we could move on? Hi everyone, I look a lot different right now um, than I normally do when I come and when I start a video. However, I thought I would do a little get ready with me. Today I'm going to film a daily vlog because I don't have a video for tomorrow, which is Wednesday. And I missed my Sunday upload because basically I lost my memory card. It's somewhere in the house, I believe. Fingers crossed. But I I have no clue. I, I literally do not know where it is. So because I lost my memory card, I didn't have any content to edit. I'm going to pop some of this lip oil. Hyaluronic lip oil from Make The Make. Um, it's really good. But I found that this brand tend to discontinue a lot of their stuff. So I, I doubt I'll even be able to... Um, I doubt I'll even be able to link it so i need to do a little bit of a run back because basically sunday's video was supposed to be a vlog i was in london last week i believe was it last week all these weeks again i'm getting muddled up in my head so i was in london last week because i was um there for a few events and um, so the vlog was supposed to be me at the events thankfully i do film a lot of my content on my phone um, so I still have some clips of that. So let's just run through that. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use my Estee Lauder foundation, and um, because when I'm filming content, I like to have full B. I was in London because I had a few events. First event which I went to was a Primark event, and these are all like spring events. So around this time of the year, at the be at the beginning of a season. A lot of brands do press office events where they will either hire, hire a space or um, if they do have an office, like a press office, they will showcase all of their spring, summer um, products and new and stuff, things which are about to launch. So the first one which I went to was actually a Primark one. Um, I'm running out of this foundation, which is good because I think I have, I have one back up here and I think I might actually have another one back there i'm not too sure but this is like my favorite foundation ever i will be wearing this on my wedding day it's the only thing that i found that and the huda beauty foundation which i really want to get another one uh are the only foundations where i when i wear them like they actually last and they actually give you good coverage so yeah i went to the primark press office i'll show you guys the clips to that now time at that event and um, I met some lovely lovely people as usual I always just like turn up to these events on my own because um and, and just hope and just hope that I'm gonna recognize somebody know somebody um sometimes I do and sometimes I just make friends and this time it was a make friends kind of occasion which of course I don't mind I love meeting people uh, I met some really, really lovely girls. Then the following day, I had an event with Katie Loxon. So it was a brunch event. I'm going to use this Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer. It's quite a bit lighter, but it gives you like that highlighted look. Um, so yeah, I was at the Estee Lauder event. No, I wasn't. <laughs> Katie Loxon event. And again, they it was a Mother's Day event and we made floral bouquets. Um... We made floral bouquets. It was lovely. Like it was such a good event. Um, I knew a lot more people at this event 
So it was nice to catch up with some friends as well. It was such a beautiful event, like it was beautiful. Um, like all the flowers and everything. I promise I won't leave your side. Be who you are and you'll be enough. If you're giving me your love, giving me your love. All that we have is each other now. I promise you won't leave my side. was a press office visit at Next. So, um, again, they were like showcasing all of their spring, summer attire. They had so many beautiful bits. It was lovely. They do a collaboration each year with Rochelle Humes and that collaboration is always incredible. I look crazy right now, don't I? <laughs> Stay with you. Hello? Anyway, so yeah, those are the events which I've been to. They would have been included in that vlog, but however, I've lost all of the footage for that. So, uh, anyway, I, ha I actually have another vlog that I'm filming at the same time as this one because that vlog is going to be a huge home update vlog. Um, we're doing a little bit of work. We've got a few things going on around the house. So that vlog is going to involve all of that, but I wanted to just do like a daily vlog today and show you guys what I'm getting up to. So it's about, it's about half nine, I'm just getting ready for the day. I've exercised, I have had breakfast, I've been doing my emails. I actually have a perfume event, which is at half 12, but I thought before then, I need to film some content. I really wanna film a wedding guest um, outfit video. And I've seen this beautiful dress from Mango that I'm gonna order. I actually have no weddings this year, but I am going on holiday, so I just to wear it. And there will be weddings in the future, so, um, but it's just honestly the most beautiful wedding guest dress. I actually have some new in pieces, which I'm gonna show you within this vlog. And I think I might do, I have a handbag unboxing as well, which I'm gonna show you as well. It was very kindly sent to me by a brand and it's a completely new brand. And obviously, and obviously I wanted to share it with you all. And then I thought I would also do like a little bit of a styling part in this vlog, show you guys some new items, but style them up instead of just showing them to you, um, like in a haul format. So this video is gonna involve that and then we're gonna go to the event. So today's Tuesday, yesterday was Monday and I had a huge admin day. Oh, I was putting off so many little jobs, which I should do like every month. I don't end up doing them. And we're coming to the end of the tax year. So I was like, girl, you got to woman up and just do it. So I have like a massive spreadsheet, which I should update every month. And I just haven't done it. Like I just don't do it. And um, yesterday I spent like five hours like filing all of my receipts, writing down all of my expenses, getting everything right in order, filling out paperwork so that um, when I do my taxes at the beginning of April, everything is in order. But 
it took forever it literally took forever and i was just i was like i felt like um like a mad woman like i was <laughs> and my desk was full of paper full of receipts full of paperwork full of just random stuff i had like a calculator here i was using my phone calculator my computer calculator it was stressful but i got it done so i had a proper admin day yesterday so today is going to be a fun day where i can just fully in where i can just fully enjoy myself so for my bronzer i'm going to use this one anastasia bronzer i found that this bronzer works better when um i'm in winter because uh, in summer, I think I'm just a little bit too dark for it. It doesn't show up as much, but in winter, it really like you can really see it. I think anywhere. I love it. It's so good. And I have oily skin, so hence why I like to use a lot of powdery things. If you have dry skin then i wouldn't do as much setting and i would use like a cream bronzer but girl if i use anything cream luminous i'm asking to look sweaty within two hours <laughs> sleek sahara i think yeah sahara blush it's like a terracotta color i don't know what i'm talking about it's like a, a brownie orangey kind of shade What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with my bronzer, use that along my eyes. This is like my everyday 25 minute glow up. It's like my, when I want to look presentable but I don't want to do too much or I don't have time to do too much, this is a look which I go for. And then I'm also going to go in with the sleek blusher, just add a little bit of that on my lid as well i'll do my eyeliner off camera and i'll do my eyes off camera which involves just mascara and eyeliner and then i'll be back to do my lips i've been getting a lot of questions about my lips so we'll go through it so i've done my eyes i've done my eyebrows for my eyebrows i use the anastasia dip what is it called brow powder I am fully converted to being a brow powder kind of girl just because it gives you like that softness which I love. I use this Maybelline eyeliner um, for my eyeliner. <laughs> I've used this for years. It just, favourite eyeliner, works. Um, so for my lips, I'm using actually a bit of a different combo right now. I'm going to use MAC Chestnut. mac posh pit and then in the middle i'm actually going to go in with this charlotte tilbury lipstick it's a bit of a peachy lipstick like a peachy kind of color it's that kind of color there and then i kind of like blend it all together yeah that's my lip liner so this is charlotte tilbury bitch <laughs> I feel so awkward saying this bitch perfect i do swear i do swear here and there in real life but on camera it just feels so wrong and at some point my niece used to watch my videos and i don't know if she does anymore but the thought of her hearing me swearing <laughs> anyway this is my look um i just like set my edges so that's why i have this um bandana on yeah so i'm gonna get ready pop some prop i'm gonna get ready put some proper clothes on and i'll be back and we can do like a little um new in haul unboxing i'll show you guys a few things which i picked up which are new unbox the handbag and then we can try on some outfits and do that before i head off for my fragrance consultation so if you're wondering the jumper which i'm wearing is from my h&m haul i do apologize about the hair on my face in this part of the video i can't believe i couldn't actually feel it just editing this video back um it's irritating me so i apologize i picked it up maybe like two months ago love it anyway i'm going to show you guys the first thing which i bought recently i actually shared this on my community page because i was like 
I was, I was so happy to find it that I had to share it. I shared it on my Instagram, also shared it on my community page because like, if you want this, you need to get it because it's already sold out. Anyway, H&M, you know what it is. And it's these shoes here. So these look like the Hermes Oran sandals which if you watch my luxury haul, no, if you watch my luxury wish list, then you would have known that I was planning on getting the Hermes Oran sandals in the next month or so. And I feel like this, these look <laughs> so similar to them. And I actually like the design a little bit more. The only thing with these is that I pick them up in a 41. I'm usually a 40 because I have a huge feet. No, actually I think they fit fine. I actually do think that they fit fine. Because um, basically, whenever I order shoes from H&M, I always have to size up because their shoes are just so small. Like, I, I'm usually a UK 7, which is an EU 40, US 9, I think. I'm not sure about US sizing, but I know I'm a UK 7 and EU 40. When it comes to H&M, their shoes are just so small and I have wide feet, so I usually go up a size and I've even had to go up two sizes, which is crazy because like, yeah, I think it's crazy. But, so I went up to a size UK eight and I think they might just be a little bit big, but I'm thinking right now it's winter, in summer, your feet are hot, they do swell up a little bit. So, I mean, I don't know, I think they look fine. But I would have liked to try the sevens as well. However, as you can tell, they have sold out already. So I will not be able to get the bigger sizes. So that's what they look like. I just love the detail. Like if anything has anything has contrast stitching like this, I'm like, how, like sign me up, sign me up. I love contrast stitching. I always think it makes things look expensive. But it's funny. I was talking. I was. I mentioned this to. I mentioned this to Jack the other day and he thinks the opposite. He doesn't like contrast stitching. He thinks it makes things look cheap. I don't know. <laughs> In my opinion, I think it makes things look more expensive because it shows like the um, details and like craftsmanship. So yeah, I got the black versions. They also did do a brown version, but the brown version, I, I don't know if it sold out or like straight away or what happened, but the brown versions were, wouldn't have not, become available in the UK. One of you guys did comment that in your country, I think it was like one of the Nordic countries. <laughs> I feel like it was Sweden. On your H&M website, you had the brown version. We didn't get the brown version. Or if we did, I just missed on it. Uh, I just I just missed out on it. Anyway, I will link these in the description box because they will be restocked, but they won't do a full restock. They'll do like a little drop here and there. Um, so if you are lucky, sign up for the sign up for the um, email notification thing, and hopefully they will come back in stock in your size. I size up, but I've got wide feet. I'd say probably stick to your true size. I'd say stick to your true size. So now I'm thinking I don't need the uh, I don't need the Hermes Oran sandals because I have these. I'm probably not going to renew my Hermes bag wish list because bag wish list because there's literally nothing that I want from the brand apart from a bag so there's no point me even going in and um, these sandals were only 40 pounds um, and then I have loads of those three pound vouchers that I redeemed so I, I think you can only redeem two per transaction so I ended up getting them for like 33 pounds instead of 40 because I managed to get like whatever off of them I think it was thirty three ninety nine. I paid. I paid. Um. So I actually got them for such a good price. For considering they are like full leather, they have a little bit of a like a heel. I wouldn't even call it a heel, but they're not completely flat, and they have quite a bit of cushioning. Honestly, a bargain of the year. I mean, I was willing to pay five hundred pounds for a pair of sandals which look very similar to these. So the fact that I got them for thirty three, I have saved myself a lot of money. This next package is from a brand called Charlotte Elizabeth. They told me that they work with the, they are a Prince's Trust charity and that their bags have been seen on um, various members of the royal family including Meghan. And then I had a look at their website and I was like, yes. I actually chose this bag in a colour which I don't have in my wardrobe 
the temptation to get this bag in either black, beige, tan kind of cognac colour, which I know you Americans love to use the phrase cognac. I've never ever heard anyone use that phrase apart from Americans, so I'm going to use it. Um, like a deep tan shade. The temptation to get that colour was real, but I thought, you had too much. I have a lot of handbags. That's that's just a fact. And then to pick a, to get another one in a neutral shade can be a bit hard to justify. Okay, so that's the brand there, Charlotte Elizabeth. Of course, I will link it in the description box. From the website, it looked like quite a pretty, like a proper bag, like a quite a feminine style bag. Um, so yeah, this is the dust bag. This bag. Can you guess the colour? I don't have this colour in my wardrobe and it's like a colour but it's still pretty neutral and wearable. How pretty is this bag? I love the colour. Like when I saw the colour, I was like, yes. It kind of reminds me of like a, a satchel. It's got like equestrian vibes. The leather, the leather is so thick and soft. I do love textured leather. It's really pretty. It's such a cute feminine bag. So yeah, this is the bag which I picked up. So I went for the Mayflower bag in the sky blue colour. So they're quite a small brand. So they only have, I think they have like three designs. Um, so they focus, so they have a small range of bags in quite a few neutral colours. This is their only kind of colour colour. Um, so I thought I would go for something a little bit more colourful. They do this bag in the bigger version as well. So if you like a bigger bag, like in a neutral colour, black, cognac, <laughs> um, a neutral colour, then they can, then they do that as well. So the bag itself does come with a strap. And to be honest, yeah, when I saw this bag, I thought it would look really cute with, I thought it would look really good with this jacket here. Like, together, how cute. How cute. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm probably, depending on the weather, I've been dying to wear this jacket. Um, I've been dying to wear this jacket. Haven't just the right opportunity hasn't come yet because it's just too cold to wear it on its own, and it's a jacket which I just really want to wear on its own. Um, so I'm probably gonna have to wait at least another month to be able to do that. But, um, but I just think these are gonna pair so beautifully together. So yeah, I will style this bag. I will try and include this bag in some element of this styling video. The very final thing which I'm going to unbox is I'm probably not going to style in any part of this video because um, it's like a wedding potential, another potential around the wedding outfit. This package is from Nadine Morabi and if you watched if you watched one of my previous vlogs when i was in london and another time when i was in london they did like a showroom event where they hired out a hotel they hired out a big suite in a hotel and they brought like their full bridal collection they showed us all it was so beautiful did it, uh, i did a little bit of a try on you'll know which one it is it's that two piece the two piece which has a long train stunning stunning dust bag like so and yes, did I get it in a small? I think I did. Small here. So I got the top. So this set comes with the top, um, which has the long train. You can actually wear both of these together or separately. So it comes with the top. And then I also picked up the trousers in a UK 12, which is a medium. Now the cool thing about these is that you can actually um, buy them you can actually ask the brand to get them tailored. So what I did is I put on my wedding shoes and I um, measured myself and then I sent the measurements off to them and then they already tailored it for me, which I think is amazing because um, I would have just gone and done that myself because they were quite long. It was absolutely beautiful, like so beautiful. Um, I'm going to show you it. I have to show you it. Okay, so this is the Nadine Morabi outfit. How gorgeous is this? 
it's <laughs> it's so so beautiful um so this is part of their bridal collection like i mentioned um i got the top in a small medium and then i got the um and the top has the train which i just love and then i got the trousers in a uk size 12 but yeah i just love this like oh look at it look at it i could even wear this as like a second outfit on my wedding day like the evening um outfit there's plenty of options to wear this set to but i wanted to show you all just in case there's any brides out there who are also looking for outfits uh for their wedding day or around their wedding day so yeah i love this outfit i feel like it would be a really nice um work in the office kind of outfit um yeah like a spring office outfit um so i've got this blazer on this cream blazer which is just beautiful so it's a lovely soft neutral color which just works with so many colorful pieces as well i'm sure by now you know how much i do love a satin skirt and this green one is such a beautiful shade of green it kind of matches my nails actually um yeah i need to get my nails redone because they look a mess this skirt does match my nails quite well um i got the skirt in a size 10 the blazer in a size 14 i believe because i do like it a little bit oversized and um i've just scrunched it i've just scrunched up the blazer with um some hair bands and then i've just got some pointy nude heels and um, you could always just um throw on sandals if you're not into the heels um i'll pop on my ms or on sandals in a second to show you guys what it would look like and then i have this teddy blake bag which which matches the blazer really really well Or you could always style it with your favourite tan sandals. Mine are obviously my Hermes orange sandals. I feel like the sandals gives it a completely different vibe. It makes it more of an everyday outfit. Um, I would wear this outfit in spring. You know, like the latter end of spring when we're very close to summer but you still need a little bit of a jacket but you still need a jacket for warmth. Um, I would wear this outfit for that. I just think these tones all work really well together. So I wanted to show you all how I would style this bag. So I popped on this tweed jacket from H&M, which I just love and cannot wait to wear it properly outside without like a jacket or something on top. I've got on my Arquette Heavy DC t-shirt, which so many of you guys um, have got now because, and then I've got on the trousers of the blazer, which I should have already showed you um so these have got more of a tapered leg and they're really really comfortable like the material is really soft and um they're a nice length as well um the quality is just incredible i've got my hermes orange sandals and then my beautiful beautiful charlotte elizabeth bag i feel like this is definitely quite a preppy look uh, it's very like prim and proper depending on the outfit which i'm wearing i can you know it can change your personality a little bit and i feel like a prim and proper woman wearing my tweed jacket and my top handle bag <laughs> so yeah i really do love this outfit um but i'm going to show you guys a little bit more of a grungy look which is i wouldn't say i have grungy style but um it's quite the opposite of it's quite the opposite of this look okay so this is probably more my style um so i've added on this um biker jacket from asos so i've had this biker jacket for quite a while um it's a real leather long line biker jacket and like i said i got it from asos i think i've had it for like a year or two and this is like the perfect time to wear this springtime and then um of course i'm wearing my arket t-shirt these trousers but then i rolled them up at the bottom just a little bit because i actually prefer that i prefer that look just a little bit more and then i've added these kind of western boots um the, and then they have like a silver tip which matches the silver on the jacket not that it matters because i have styled it with this teddy blake bag and um, which has gold in it anyway so it doesn't really matter because i wanted to add another beige item into the outfit so like i said i'm heading to an event and i actually think i'm going to wear this outfit to the 
uh, fragrance consultation slash event um which i need to set off in like 15 minutes so i'm going to show you guys one more outfit before i go um so yeah this is it i just love this outfit okay so this is the next dress which i'm going to show you which i just feel like is the perfect summer dress i know that technically we are nowhere near summer i can't resist pretty dresses like this um so this one is from nobody's child so what i've actually done because i got it in a uk size I got it in a UK size 10 and I'm actually heading to the tailors today because I need to go pick up some stuff which I sent off to be tailored um, last week so I need to pick them up. I actually forgot about them <laughs> um, but I need to go pick some stuff up so I think I might take this dress with me so that they can just bring it in at the waist a little bit. What I've done is I've clipped it in at the back. It's not as fitted as this so maybe I should have got a size 8. But I'm not a size 8, so um, I'm definitely like a 10, but sometimes things just don't fit me at the waist as they should. So I'm going to take this in to the tailors to get it cinched in so that, I look, so that it fits like this. So yeah, this dress is from Nobody's Child. It's absolutely beautiful. This is the look. Gorgeous, gorgeous. It's such a gorgeous dress. Okay, so I'm in a bit of a rush when showing you guys this dress here, but I thought I would quickly just show you it because it's so, so pretty. So this one is from French Connection. It's another really pretty summer dress. Or if you've got any holidays coming up, this would be a really nice dress as well. I love the neckline. It's got a really pretty high neckline. Uh, it reminds me of like Victorian, like, like victorian like old style it's such a pretty everyday um comfortable dress it's not tight or anything like that so it's even more comfortable and then of course i've just styled it with these tan accessories because i'm in a bit of a rush but yeah i thought i'd show you guys this before i go but i'm in a massive rush so let's go to the event i promise i won't leave your side be who you are and you'll be enough if you're giving me your love consultation was upstairs in like I think it's like their personal styling suite it, it was really nice to set up and then um there was four of us who were having the consultation and then there were a couple of um people from Parfum de Mali um <laughs> my, my pronunciation is so bad so I had never actually heard of, well I'd never heard of them but I'd seen but I'd seen their bottles like in uh in department stores you know when you're browsing like in my no in my local havenix um i've seen their bottles in like harrods places like that so i always knew that it was a premium perfume and their bottles do stand out compared to other brands they're quite a unique design i'll show you that in a bit um i'll show you guys what we picked up so this is the little bag I always find it really interesting learning about brands and discovering new perfume brands. Um, I need, I really need to find a way of displaying my perfumes in a more beautiful way because I have quite a good collection now of, um, of perfumes. So I would love to find a way that I can display them um, in a beautiful way so that I can enjoy them more and actually enjoy the way that they look because a lot of these perfumes also look really good. So this is what it looks like. It's a really nice box and then when you open it that's what the perfume actually looks like it's such a pretty bottle this is the bottle which i'm talking about i mean isn't it just beautiful i love the frosted glass and the design it's so elegant it's such a pretty bottle that it would look beautiful on anyone's um nightstand of uh, nightstand um dressing table it is stunning. So let me spray a little bit. I haven't got any perfume today because I knew that I was going. I was going to this event, so I didn't want to put any perfume on. Gosh, if it's if it's the sun, if it's not the sun, trying to ruin my video, it's the battery. The battery life on this Sony camera is really not good. Um, I literally have three battery packs, and within this one day vlog, I'm already on my third battery. So it has top notes of bergamot, mandarin and white peach. I really pick up on the white peach 
and uh, mandarin. It's very citrusy and I love, love a citrusy scent. Like that is my, I would probably say it's probably, I would say it's probably my favourite scent in any perfume. Oh, it does smell like I'm peeling a tangerine or something like that. Oh, it's beautiful. I, I really pick up on the mandarin and white peach and um, that's what initially kicks in for me and I love that. I will leave all the details of this perfume in the description box. Um, it's definitely worth smelling when you're in your local store. I was going to show you, so they actually gave us a sample of this perfume here as well and I did have it somewhere and I don't know where I put it. I found it. <laughs> Um, so they also gave us a sample of their Delina perfume. This is like their bestseller um, and this is the one which I've seen in the bottle everywhere. So I'm going to spray it on my other arm. Apparently it's like got a rose scent to it and I love, I do love a rose. This, mm, it smells. So oh, good, so so good. So this is what it looks like. I'm sure you've seen it somewhere. I'm sure you have. Delina is described as a highly nuisance fragrance, which is both sweet and sensual. The floral accords are dominated by Turkish rose. Oh, this is incredible. Turkish rose, lily of the valley, and peony, blended with. Rounded tangy notes of lychee and rhubarb. The lychee and rhubarb, oh, really potent to me anyway. And vanilla. And it has a little bit of white musk in there as well. This perfume, oh, I, think I, I think I may need a bottle of that. Like, seriously. What's it called? I'm going to cherish this and use it very, very sparingly until I buy a bottle, until I buy a bottle of this one. Um, I've, I've never been into rose perfumes, I like never, like growing up, never into rose perfumes. I always thought they were very old lady like. However, this, this one here from um, Maison Francis Codijan is what made me love rose perfumes and uh, this is the first rose perfume where I was like wow <laughs> maybe I'll be missing out on a trick Um, this perfume is incredible I'm considering this I'm thinking this might be my wedding perfume this one from Parfum de Mali is really making me think oh, maybe I should go for this I don't know I don't know because they're both really good and they do actually they do actually smell very very similar I love, it sounds really weird, but I love spraying a little bit of this perfume just before I go to bed. Like, I love, um, I love it. I find it really comforting. It smells like, like a luscious moisturiser. I usually, I'm a evening shower kind of girl. So when I've got out of the shower, I've put my moisturiser on, I spray a little bit of this, and it just gives me that really comforting feel. Hence why I want it to be my wedding perfume, but this one is beautiful as well. Also, Valea, the one that I've got here, this one. The more I put it on, actually, the more I can smell the citrusy scent, which I obviously love. Okay, so I'm going to go for my walk, and um, I'll catch up with you guys. I'll catch up with you all when I'm on the walk. It on my walk i'm sorry if it's really um windy <laughs> it's very windy yeah i'm sorry if it's really windy um but yeah i'm so happy that i managed to get out, to get out on my walk because i've been trying to do 10,000 steps a day which has been a bit of a struggle so i'm really glad that i managed to get out and get some steps in get some fresh air in as well um but i think i'm probably gonna end the vlog here i'm gonna end it here just because um i'm gonna get home make some dinner sort the house out because it's an absolute bomb um sort the house out cook some dinner chill tonight and um 
yeah so if i finish the vlog here then it gives me time to do a little bit of editing this evening and i'll do the rest tomorrow morning but yeah i hope you guys are all doing well uh thank you so much for spending the day with me and uh, i'll catch up with you guys in the next vlog bye